Hey guys, Courtney with Southern Owls here today, and today I'm making a custom order. It's going to be the Hey Girl Hey sign again. This is going to be a small wreath, and we are doing it on a 14 inch wired wreath frame from the dollar store. So let me get into it. So we are going to use, we're going to grab some pipe cleaners. We're going to grab six pipe cleaners, well seven, because we're going to leave one long, and attach that long one right onto your wreath frame. Hi guys! Hi! Hey Ohio! How are y'all doing today? When you hop on, let me know all where y'all are watching from today. I'm making a custom order. It's going to be that super cute Hey Girl Hey again. And I'm just prepping this reform. Hey guys, good morning. Good morning. My daughter um, decided to nap early today at 10.30. She was like, mommy, I'm tired. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we're racing against the clock today. So whenever she wakes up, I'll have to hop off here. So we'll see. So we are just gonna attach two pipe cleaners per bracket. Hey Kentucky, hey Colorado. Hi. Ooh, waiting on the storm to arrive in Ohio. Ugh. Hey Virginia. The weather here in Houston sucks today, guys. It is awful. Awful, awful. So we are going to be making a custom order today. Um, and if you stick around to the end of my live, I'm going to redo that wreath that, um, someone never paid me for, and, um, I'm going to change out the signs and post it on Etsy, so if you want it, <laughs> it's a free-for-all. I was going to give that girl, like, a week, and I was like, why am I, why am I even giving her any time at all? Like, that's so ridiculous. So I'm going to take the sign off of that wreath at the end of this live and um, put something else on it and we I'll post it on Etsy. Hey, hey Lisa, hey Kentucky. Um, Cause that's where I'm gonna start and finish my deco mesh. So I like to leave one long um, just cause I'm using poly jute today. And so it's pretty thick stuff. This is the sign. So I think my hot glue gun's ready so let's attach the pipe cleaners to the sign so that can firm up while we're making the rest of our wreath this is a small so this wreath when it's all finished is going to be about 20 by 20 inches this is the sign that i'll put on the other wreath, so I am going to put some hot glue. I'll um, tweak that one once we're done with this one, though. Hey, good morning. Hey, Joyce. Hey, girl. All right, we are just laying down this hot glue because this is going to be the second wreath that we make. I mean, we're not going to make it because it's already made. It's the wreath that was never paid for. So. We're just gonna change out the sign and put it on Etsy. And I know it's gonna sell because it's super cute. All right, we are going to grab our 21 inch poly jute. This is from Craft Outlet. Sunny and 45 in Western Kentucky. Woo! At least it's sunny though. It is, it is so gross here. It's like not raining, it's just like that, ugh gross rain that misty rain all right i just like to throw my deco mesh off the side of my table so it doesn't roll back on me this is 21 inch poly jute that i bought from craft outlet and we're going to lay it right down in that long one give it a few good twists and we're going to do 10 inch poofs all the way around Candace City 34. Woo. Woo. No thank you. All right. We are going to do 10 inch poofs. 
in that zigzag pattern. So I go from inner ring to outer ring and we're gonna do that all the way around for the base. This is a small wreath. Um, it's $55 plus shipping, just because I know a lot of people ask prices. Severe storms in your, oh, possibly tornadoes. Oh, Lisa, stay safe, girl. Stay safe. Tornadoes freak me out. Because at least, like, we get hurricanes, but at least we can, like, track them. And we know when they're coming. Hey, Arizona. The tornadoes, they just come out of nowhere. Ugh. Freaks me out. All right. So 10-inch poofs all the way around in that zigzag pattern. If you're new to my live, my name's Courtney with Southern Owls. I make and sell reeds. I have an Etsy shop. It's the same name, Southern Owls, so you can go check out my stuff. Um, I'm glad you're here watching. Go give my page a follow. Guys, I am like so close to 15,000 followers. I can't even, I can't even believe it. It's so crazy. It's so crazy to me. Okay, so we're going to go around one more time. 10 inch poof, so you're just going to slide your hand down that deco mesh and measure out 10 inches and then lay it right down into those pipe cleaners. You purchased from me! Yay! I'm so glad you're here. Sam's already has pretty spring ribbon in. Guys, I don't have a Sam's Club membership. I just can't do it. Or Costco. Those stores give me anxiety. It's too much. I go in for like four things and then all of a sudden I spent $500 because I get distracted and I'm like, oh my gosh, look at this. Oh my gosh, clothes for my kids. I can't do it. I spend way too much money in those places. <laughs> oh my gosh, a hoodie. <laughs> I get in trouble, so I just stay away from them. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Guys, I really I really do buy like 90% of my supplies from Craft Outlet now just so I stay out of those big box stores because I spend way too much money in there too. I get distracted and they have cute stuff in there and all of a sudden my whole cart's full. <laughs> so it's just best for me to do online shopping. <laughs> It's just like grocery shopping. If you do curbside, you stick to your list and like everything's good. But then you go inside the grocery store and you're like, oh my gosh, they have king. I walked away from King's Cake this week from HEB. I was so proud of myself. And I was like, you don't need it. Walk away. <laughs> I am a sucker for some good King's Cake. And if y'all live in Texas and shop at HEB, their King's Cake is so good. I don't know if y'all ever had it, but it is so good. All right. And now we're done, so we're just going to cut that off. I actually have to go to Hobby Lobby ugh, sometimes this week because I need more pipe cleaners. So I do, and I like to buy them from there because you get them in such huge quantities. So I do like going to Hobby Lobby for that. Okay, I'm just merging these poofs together, making sure that everything's poofed and looking good. So that's what she's looking like so far. Thanks so much for all the new follows, guys. I really appreciate it. And now we're going to grab three more pipe cleaners and cut these in half. I know, guys, I wanted to run some errands, oh, excuse me, this morning, but this rain, I was like, I'm not getting my daughter out in the rain. All right, we're just going to thread these right through every bracket. So this wreath form has six brackets, so we are just V-ing these pipe cleaners up and threading them right through. 
Oh, I forgot to say too, guys, if you're new here, um, I also post all of my lives on YouTube. So you can go back and rewatch what I created. Um, my name's Southern Owls. So you can go give me a follow there too. All right, so we're just twisting all of these pipe cleaners right on, right in every single bracket. I really, I really like to utilize all the brackets on my wreath form so um, the mesh doesn't slide around. Okay, where's all my fellow crafters at? Put some blue hearts, blue hearts in the comments if you craft, let me know. All right, we're gonna do black and white deco mash for our cruffles today. Let me just move these signs out of the way. We're gonna do, this is 10 inch deco mash. Hey guys, look at those blue hearts. So glad you're here today. Hi, hello. Love that. Hey, oh my gosh, so many of y'all today. So we are going to cut 25 inches out and we're gonna need six. So we're gonna do three white and three black. Oh my gosh, so many crafters in here. All right, crafters, what do y'all make? Are y'all wreath makers? What do you do? All right, one more, 25 inches. This is six pieces. Ooh. And I like to use my rotary cutter versus um, versus scissors. I just feel like it's a cleaner cut. Anything and everything. Yes. Crochet. I need to learn how to crochet, guys. Valentine's Day reads. I love that. I love that. You sew. I need to get, I need to sew. Um, why 25 instead of 20? Because I'm doing cruffles. If I were just to do ruffles, I would do 20. Wood hangers. I love wood hanger signs. They are so adorable. Okay, so we're gonna let this deco mesh roll in a few times. Pinch the middle. And walk your fingers to the other side. And then lay that right down into one of the sections. And we're just gonna do that all the way around. You're welcome. I can't do a stitch. <laughs> Um, okay, so 21 inch deco mesh, if you have a lot of those, um, don't cut them down the middle, just fold them in half. Fold them in half and then um, ruffle them into your section. Because if you cut your deco mesh in half, it's going to fray. It's going to fray really, really bad. Beadwork, earrings, necklaces. Ooh, I love that. All right, let that deco mesh roll in on itself. Pinch the middle. Walk your fingers to the other side. And then lay those right down into that mesh. Oh gosh, guys, too, good news. I'm going to make three more Valentine's Day reads, too. So if I have time after this, I'm going to get on those. Um, I just had this idea, so... I'm super excited because I'm all sold out on my Etsy shop for um, Valentine's Day wreaths. I have two swags available. Oh my gosh, is that it? I have two swags. Oh, and the double heart hangers. That's cute. But that's it. So I'm going to make a couple more, but I think that's going to be it for the season because we're getting so close that um, I want it to ship out and y'all still have them. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I posted my cross wreath that I made yesterday um, on Etsy. Thank you so much. I love making them. And I'm so excited for when my craft outlet shipment gets in because I bought that pastel yellow. Guys, the crosses with the pastel yellow is so beautiful also. Oh, thanks for sharing my live. Thank you. I know, St. Patty's will be here. You know, St. Patty's though is like not really ever, I don't know, it's not really a big seller for me. Like I make a few, but 
I normally don't really sell too many. Okay, so that's what that looks like. So we're going with that cow theme. Hey, Miami. And now we're going to attach our sign, and it's the Hey Girl Hey. <laughs> so funny. Um, do I want black or I think I want the white? Okay, so we're gonna attach this next, and I just attached some pipe cleaners with hot glue. And we're gonna put this right in the middle, and we're gonna thread it through our deco mesh. I have. I have Easter reads already on my Etsy page. I have to stay ahead of the season, especially for Easter, um, because my son plays t-ball. And I get so busy in the spring that I don't really have a lot of time to craft. Thank you. Okay, so we got it. I like to hold it, flip it, and then attach those pipe cleaners to your wire form. And then um, I'm gonna grab a half a pipe cleaner. Let me pull that all the way like there. I'm gonna grab a half a pipe cleaner and the sign came with this little poly jute rope and I'm going to attach that to right to that top bracket just in case anything happens with those other pipe cleaners. I know that it's going to be secure by hanging it by the actual rope. Hey girl, hey, hey Nancy! Did you get your wreath yet girl? I haven't even looked at your shipping. I'm sure you did, right? Yes, baseball. It's, I love that our kids play sports, but oh my gosh. And like we live out in the country, so everything just takes a while to get to. So it's so time consuming. Okay. That's what she's looking like. How cute. How cute. Not yet. Says Thursday. Okay, good. All right, we're going to add a beautiful bow to the top. We are going to use, let's see, what do I want to use? I'm going to use, I think, these. Do I want to use some pokies? Oh, wait, I want plaid. Let's do plaid. Um, I'm going to do, I think, the black polka dots. Two pokies, that's cute. I like that. Okay. And then we have the cow print and the other plaid on standby. Um, I use Craft Outlet, guys. It's a online store based out of Louisiana. I just feel like their quality is so great. And so since I live in Texas, their shipping is so fast for me. Because we're neighbors. <laughs> hey, Dawn. Girl. <laughs> I was going to talk to you later. Um, I had the craziest dream <laughs> last night and you were in it. <laughs> okay, let's start off with this. No, let's do this one. Okay, we're going to do the black and white plaid first. Six inches. We're going to measure out ten inches. So it's going to make the loops. Five inches. And then another six inches for the tail. And we're just going to hold that in our thumb and point your finger. Then we'll take these fun brown polka dots. Ten inches. Ten inches. And then six. So that's five inch loops and then six inch tails. We're just holding it. We're gonna do these pokies. Um, the frame is 14 inches. 
This is a small wreath that I'm making today, and this is a custom order. So now we're going to shrink those loops down by an inch, so now they're four and a half. Still with that six inch tail. And we're just going to kind of fluff them out a little bit as I go. Helps me later when I attach the wire. Same thing. I love this ribbon. So cute. Same thing. Nine inches, which makes those loop four and a half inches. Two of those. And then you just twist your ribbon as you go. Uh, craft Outlet. I bought all this ribbon today from Craft Outlet. All right, we're gonna take that plaid again, and this is one and a half inch wired ribbon now. The others were two and a half inch. So I'm gonna place that right down. We're gonna shrink our loops again to eight inches, so that's gonna make your loops four inches. We're gonna do two of those. And cut that right off. Looking cute already. I kind of want to add, I'm going to add the solid brown in to break it a little bit and pull out this brown. And then we're going to add the cow, the cow print. Six inch tails, two eight inch loops. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Six inches. And then we're going to grab the cow print. So fun. I'm almost out of it. I'm waiting for my craft outlet order so I can get some more of this. I'm going to make that cute little loop in the middle. And that is where we're going to thread our wire through. Thank you. Craft outlets sold out a lot of, um, there's tons of places that you can find ribbon though. Like Deco Exchange normally has the same kind of ribbon. Um, I'm trying to think of the other one. Small, small town wreaths, they're a small company, I think in Mississippi. There's a lot of little small guys around that sell the, um, the RG ribbon. You just gotta find them. Okay, so we're gonna fluff out our loops a little bit. Just pull on them, make sure everything's looking good and that our tails are all facing the right direction. I love this cow print, it's so cute. And then we are going to dovetail everything. I know, I know. Me and Ma I'm so excited that Max is um, coming to Sugarland because he doesn't know it yet, but we're gonna meet. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know he's so fun. I was watching him last night too. He's been liking a lot of my stuff. He's so helpful. And he's the one that told me about the Wreath Makers Live event that's in Sugarland. Like, I would have never even known that existed. So I'm definitely going, and I'm super excited about that because I've never been to anything wreath-related before. Like, I've only been doing this for two years. So, I mean, it's all still very new to me. So I'm so excited that um, I found Max, and he's he's helped me, which is super sweet. Which I just love our wreath community. I feel like everyone who makes wreaths that I've stumbled upon, at least on TikTok, has been like the sweetest people ever. And I love it. No, I've never heard of them before. What does that say? 
Alex Express. No, I've never heard of them. Aw, thanks, Nancy. You're so sweet. You are so sweet. I know, guys. Like, this year, 2023 is going to be my year. I can just feel it. I'm so blessed that um, my TikTok is really just my free advertising. Like, that's how I get the word out that I make reads. And I'm so fortunate that a platform like this exists. Oh, my God. I love this bow. So cute. All right, let me grab that so you all can see a close-up. Oh, hold on. That little guy's not cute. There we go. Love this bow. Thank you. You're so sweet. Thank you so much. Okay, now we're going to attach this beautiful bow to the top. You know what, guys? I didn't turn up my screen brightness. I'm, like, squinting. Can you all tell that I'm squinting? Hold on. Let me turn that up all the way. Okay, there we go. Now I can really see. Thank you. All right, we're gonna thread this through your mesh. You wanna make sure that you're threading your bows through your mesh so your bows don't sink down into your reeds and they stay on top. Thanks so much for um, sharing my live and all the new follows and likes. I appreciate that so much. Okay, well maybe. Maybe I'll thread this wire through. I think I'm trying to go through too many layers. My goodness. There we go. Okay, we're going to move it out top. There we go. So it's above my sign. Loving this already. Oh my gosh. See, I always miss one. I didn't dovetail the cow print. Let me get that. There's always one I leave behind. Ah! <laughs> I just read what you wrote. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I I eventually catch them. Eventually. <laughs> Thank you. Or I'll like go and I'll hang it on my, my front door to take like better pictures of it. And I'm like, oh, oh my gosh, I forgot to do it. <laughs> I left one out. <laughs> so cute. Thanks for catching that. <laughs> so, so cute. Hey girl, thank you. So glad you're here today. So this one's already sold, but this is my small size. And it goes for 55 plus shipping. This is a custom order. But everything else that I'm making today um, will be posted on Etsy. So you can go shop there. Or if you see something that you just have to have that I make today, um, you can private message me. And I will sell it outright to you. Okay, let me see how many. I might have to go back once Craft Outlet gets delivered and add a couple more cow print. I didn't realize I was like almost out of this. So let me see how many tails. Two. Okay, yeah, I'll probably add some more. Well, we're just going to go for it right now. And then off camera, I'm probably going to add a couple more of these cow prints when it comes out. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. I know. I'm so nervous because I'm a hairdresser, guys. That's like my real job. This is my side hustle. I'm so nervous that I'm going to get carpal tunnel. But the good thing about, it's not good, but the good thing about carpal tunnel nowadays, um, it's an in and out surgery with no downtime. Um... So that's crazy to me. One of my clients is a doctor. Uh, he's a sports medicine. He does knee replacements and hip replacements. And he had to have carpal tunnel surgery. And I was like, oh, no, how long are you going to be out? And he was like, uh, a couple days. I was like, what? He was doing surgery like day four. Like, I'm glad I wasn't his patient because <laughs> I don't know if I would trust that. <laughs> Totally kidding. <laughs> okay, guys, we have five sections. C, 
So we're going to do, what do I want to do? <sighs> okay, we're going to do a couple of these. I know I want to do, let's do three. Oh my gosh, five years ago you had to get them done. Oh, you need that surgery, 15 minutes max. And yeah, isn't it crazy? So crazy. You're waiting for a craft outlet to deliver too? Yes. Where are they? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Where are they at? I know, I got my boxes delivered from Amazon yesterday, and I don't even know where to put them. Like, I just put them off to the side for right now because they're so huge. And then um, I got all of my grapevines delivered from Michael's, and <laughs> that's in this corner because I'm like, I don't know where to put all this stuff. <laughs> okay, we're going to do two of these. Oh, wait, hold on. I'll need three of these, too. I have this idea in my head. Okay, we're going to do three of these. And snip these little guys off. And if y'all hang out, I'm going to um, revamp that wreath that the client never paid for after this. And um, I'm going to list that one on my Etsy page. Ugh, age 25, you think you have it? Dang it. You you've suffered too? Ugh. I know, I have a cyst, a gang, ganglium, ganglium, however you say it, cyst in one of my wrists, so when that flares up, it hurts really bad, and I'll just, like, drop stuff, but according to my chiropractor, <laughs> there's nothing I can do. You can't drain it, I'll just, it'll fill back up, so that's, that sucks. I'm going to do two of these. So I'm just getting all my ribbon cut and ready for my ribbon tails. And then we'll add those. I think I'm done though. Oh wait, I need one more black and white plaid. And these are all cut at 12 inches. And um, I just use a piece of cardboard and wrap my ribbon around it to save time. You can buy a ribbon board, though. They sell those. They sell those kind of things. That was not pretty. There we go. I do. Um, from now on, guys, do your kitties play with this stuff on the floor? No. I craft... Um, so... I craft in my barn that has a door so um, they don't come in here. The other night, Swirl did come in here, but I had to kick him out because he wouldn't leave me alone. <laughs> I love him, but I was like, buddy, I got to get work done. No, I'm very fortunate and um, I have a, I live on some property and we have a barn and this is a huge room that's tapped to the barn and it was just chilling here it used to be my mom's workshop but she passed away and so it just sat over here and then when my wreath business started um flourishing we gutted it painted it put new flooring down um all those fun things and so now it's mine it's my workshop <laughs> so that's cool hi good morning uh Good morning. Okay, so we're just putting our ribbon tails on, and this is the two and a half inch wired ribbon. So cute. And then we're gonna do all the others. So I have this idea. We're gonna stack these. Oh. 
and then we're going to crumple them in the middle and then add them to our pipe cleaners because our sign covers you know most of that surface area so I'm doing that V pattern so you can see it better and then I'm just pulling apart the um, the ribbon so you can see all the layers so cute hi hey Tennessee Tennessee that's where my whole family lives all right we're just layering them pinching the middle and then putting them in in that V pattern and then we're done with these sections this wreath is going to California I'm so excited I think that's where Nancy is too Nancy bought the same kind of wreath I think she is out in California all right just layering these up pinch the middle and then put them right in Ah, oh, you're right by Knoxville. I'm so jelly. That's where my whole family is. We went there for Christmas and it snowed and I was so excited that my kids got to see that little light. That's the perfect snow, that light dusting of snow. <laughs> it melts away in a couple days. You have your fun in it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just love Tennessee. So beautiful. This wreath is adorable. I love it already. All right, we're just spreading out those last tails. Cute, cute, cute. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? So fun. I love this. Oh, have a good day. Thanks for stopping in. So cute. Okay, and then we're going to grab a little bit of ribbon. And I'm going to thread that right through that top bracket. And then that's how you're going to hang it. Thank you. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. Okay. And then here's the back. So you see everything's nice and tidy and it's not going to um, hurt your door. Oh, I got my hair. So fun. So, so cute. So this is my small size. This is about 20 inches by 20. And I sell these for 55 plus shipping. So whatever the shipping may be. So fun. Okay, guys. I'm going to put her to the side. And y'all are going to see. Um, I'm going to change out the sign on this other wreath. This is a large wreath. So this was what she purchased. But we're going to take this rooster sign off and we're going to put a different sign on. And I did block this girl from my social media. I just can't believe it. Oh yeah, but going back to that. So if you make a custom order with me from now on, you either have to pay half or the full thing before I'll even start on your wreath. But it's crazy, like ever since this happened and I've, you know, made more custom orders, like literally no one's had a problem paying the full thing up front. So, it's all good. It's all good. I love this wreath. It's so cute. So this is my like super large, so this one runs 75 plus shipping. And shipping on these are kind of expensive because you have to use a 26 by 26 by 6 box. 
Um, I'm going to cut this pipe cleaner off. Thank you. I know. Isn't that crazy? You want the rooster? I'll send it to you, girl. I'll send it. I don't even want to look at it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't even want it in my shop. <laughs> totally kidding. <laughs> oh, you know what? I might have, should have attached, let me attach another pipe cleaner to this. Hold on. Let me turn my hot glue bottle back on. Because I think I'm going to need one in the middle. Hill. I love this sign though. It says country roads take me home. So this sign's going to be perfect for this wreath. Yeah, I'm gonna glue one more hot pipe cleaner on. Look how cute that looks with this. It's like the perfect, it couldn't have worked out better. Look at that. Look how cute that sign is with this. It's gonna be totally fine. Your kitchen's all roosters. I saw that rooster at Hobby Lobby. I'm fine with it. I actually bought that. Guys, I got this rooster from Craft Outlet is where I where I found him from. Which annoys me because I, like, ordered this, like, specifically for her. Like, I didn't have this just hanging out in my craft room. <sighs> Lesson learned. Deposits are paying full. And if you don't like it, you can go somewhere else. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take off this pipe cleaner while we're waiting for my hot glue gun to warm up. I'll put this over here in my sign nook. Oh my gosh. Sorry about that. Oh, good thing that wasn't me. Because I was talking mess. See? They're like, stop talking mess. Okay, let me grab my pipe cleaner. <laughs> and I'm just laying, oh, I don't think it's hot enough yet. Oh my goodness. I'm too impatient for my hot glue gun to warm up. I will um put this on my Etsy shop though. Okay, let me, I'm going to hang this up on the stand. And then I'm going to clean up a little bit. Hang out. Y'all have any questions, let me know. I'll look up at the screen. Dude, I know. It was. It was trying to take me out. <laughs> we'll clean up a little bit. And then um, we'll put this sign on this one. And then I'm going to make three Valentine's Day reads. I'm going to hop off, though, and then hop back on. Um, just because I post my lives on YouTube. Uh, <laughs> so I can have an end to my video and then a beginning to my video. Because I don't know how to actually make videos to post on YouTube. I am not that tech savvy. Not yet. I just don't think I have like the right like software. I don't know what people use. Or do they just use their phone? Like I don't know how to edit videos like that. Like, I can edit videos on TikTok. Like, that's so easy to me. But I don't I don't know what I'm doing, like, on my phone to edit. Like, I kind of feel like I would need to do it on a computer. But who knows? These phones, man, they can do so much now. Okay, I'm just adding one more pipe cleaner to that. Really? I love that. I actually, we have, we, um, I have chickens here, and I, um, used to raise, I was an FFA, guys, and I raised, um, goats and pigs, and then my husband was an FFA as well, and he did heifers and steers and pigs. So we're just a whole little FFA family over here. But the only farm animals that we have right now are the chickens, just because we're so busy. We have chickens, we have barn cats, and um, that's it, because we are just so busy with the kids, and we just don't have time to take care of any more animals. Okay. <laughs> I know. 
we are so lucky. I actually wanted to make a funny TikTok about us having eggs. I just haven't had time to do it yet. <laughs> or us having chickens. <laughs> okay, this is taking forever. I'm going to hop off. I'm going to get my studio ready for Valentine's Day. When I hop back on, I'll show you what this wreath looks like. And then we'll start busting out the Valentine series. And we're going to do a pink one, a red one, and a burlap. A burlap one. So they're all going to be three different themes. Um, so it's going to be fun. Okay, so I'm going to hop off while this is drying because this is taking forever. And I'll be back in like five minutes, okay? Thanks, guys. I'll see you all soon.